Hello YouTubers, RC Cars here. As you can see again, I've got some more new diecasts from Case N. Now Case N is the newest um case of Disney Pixar cars, 2013 cars you can find in the store. And the new releases from it, of course, are Alex Carville, Nature Drive, Lightning McQueen, um, Maurice Welks, and the two super chases. So if you want to see my last video. That one I review Maurice Welks and Brent Mustangberger with headset, which hasn't, which is not in this case, but um, it's actually the international version, so um, that should be coming soon to the United States soon. So I just decided to get one off of eBay. But if you want to see that video, um, go check that out. So of course here we have Alex Carville, also known as the World Grand Prix security guard. He looks very cool in that picture up there. I think that's a very nice shot of him. And, of course, now we have Nature Drive Lightning McQueen, which is also known as Leafy Lightning McQueen. And now, this diecast here has been mentioned a lot, and I'm surprised it took this long for them to come out with this Lightning McQueen. As you can see, this is in the Lightning McQueen series, which is has Cactus Lightning McQueen, Cruising Lightning McQueen, Lightning Storm McQueen, and Lightning McQueen with Kona. And so, yeah, that's... um other releases in there and for the Alex Carville as you can see again there's Brent Mustang Burger with headset which I reviewed that one and all these other ones have been released um, previously so now this is the last release for the World Grand Prix uh, series and I have all of them same thing with the Lightning McQueen series so let's uh, get to opening these I'm really excited about Alex Carville his the side kind of uh, headphones looks very cool on him and I'll show these up close on the turntable um, towards the end of the video let's put the junk over there and there he is let's take this plastic off that'd be nice okie doke wow he's pretty heavy actually quite heavy and now I'm pretty sure this is a brand new model which is very nice and now um and now that I'm seeing him, I'm, he's not my favorite. See, he doesn't look that like he did in the movie. It just, he looks like too straight. Like, he doesn't really look like he did, like, in that picture right there. So, it's a little disappointing, but I guess, I guess he looks okay. I mean, he just kind of looks too, like, straight. I think the, I think he could have looked a little bit better. But, of course, he is that the panda. Well, uh, the Fiat Panda, so that's a very cool uh, model. So, of course, he has the angry sound from when he was in the movie, and there was a Francesca fan made her, and um, he was, like, saying lunatic, lunatic at gate four. So, yeah, that's cool. So let's take a, take a look at some of the logos on the side here. Let's focus in on this World Grand Prix series, uh, logo here. There's the World Grand Prix logo. There's another one, and it says security right there. And now on the back here, of course, it says... A uh, panda, let's focus in on it though. Panda AH673OP is his license plate. And there's a little Fiat logo right there, that red dot. And there's Panda security. And now he's got this real kind of like headphone here, which is not, doesn't go all the way around. But it's a very nice kind of cool little touch. Um, that's very cool because we've never seen like a headphone like that. And of course he has the sight around the top here. So that's cool. I love uh, him. He looks very cool actually. I like the designs on him. Definitely a nice character to add to your collection. I'm great. Very happy to find Alex Carville. Very cool. So now let's get to Nature Drive Lightning McQueen. And so now this is like the they haven't had a new Lady McQueen in quite a while now. I mean, the last version, I mean, some metallic Toys R Us exclusive or something like that. I do not remember the exact one. But for Cars 2, or Cars 1, actually, the newest Lady McQueen was probably that, like, paint mask Lady McQueen, like, three, four years ago. So here he is. Let's take a focus on him a little bit more. So there he is. Very cool. Wow, these leaves are just like, here, I'll show you. Here's the, like, mud version of him. And they feel like the same. They're not, like, just painted on their plastic on him. And they, they look so cool because, remember, in the movie, he was all muddy and then the, the leaves came on him. Um, so it, they stick like that. So that's cool. He looks very cool. 
I wonder what the... I guess those are just little um, leaves again, those things going across there. But, of course, he has the leaves up the front. Of course, he has that um, very disappointing expression like in the movie. He has the leaves on the top, side, around the tail, or the back. I'm used to talking about planes, but on the back. So that's very cool. And also has some black dots for the dirt and stuff. Very cool and nice attention to detail with the the tar stain on the lightning bolt there, making sure to keep accurate, which is definitely great. So here are like the stages. This is like, oh, actually, I think he was wet first. So from the final lap collection, there's Wet McQueen, and then he became Muddy Lightning McQueen, and then now Leafy Lightning McQueen, and then eventually Bug um, Lightning McQueen, but I don't have that one on hand right now. So that's definitely very cool. I like this Lightning McQueen a lot. Probably one one of the best Lightning McQueens there uh, was so far. I'm pretty sure they can't make too many more Lightning McQueens. I mean, let's just move my camera over here. And then let's take a um, nice look at McQueen here. Now, I'm sorry, guys. There's going to be street screeching. But there's nothing I can do about that. I tried to fix it, clean the gears out. But I'm really having a hard time with that. So, of course... That's very cool. Nature Drive Lightning McQueen. More like Leafy Lightning McQueen. And, um, I know there's probably everyone wants to see, like, Super Chases and stuff. And those are all coming. I'm just trying to wait for Yukio to arrive. Because, um, I haven't, I haven't found Yukio. I've only found the other ones. And now some people may wonder why am I only getting, like, these releases and not, like, some of the, like, Race Official Tom ones. Now... Those have all been released before, like Vern and Don Pitts. That's why I only get these ones, because they're the only, like, new, official new releases. And, um, there's Alex Carville, but I I already have all those from when they were released originally. Like, here's Race Official Tom. Let me see if I can grab him off my shelf here. I have uh, have him from when he was... A f uh, first released a long, long time ago. I remember finding this guy at Walmart. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And check out my other video for Maurice Welks and Brett Mustang Burger. And then stay tuned for Hiroki and Takashi and Yukio. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time.